everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is pretty exciting. I do have to say that I'm quite excited for it. Today I'm going to be introducing you to my new pets and we're also going to be feeding a bunch of my animals. However, that is not the only reason why today's video is so exciting. Today, I also have a special guest here with me. So today, I am here with my friend Nat, and she also happens to have a YouTube channel. Yes, hey guys. So my name is Natasha, and I have a YouTube channel called Red's Fauniverse. Um, I also like to educate people on reptiles, and I also have a small reptile collection myself. It's definitely not as impressive <laughs> as Emma's, but um, I do like to keep some species of interest myself. So if you guys want to check that out, you can follow me on Instagram and YouTube. If you guys like watching animal content, then I don't see a reason not to go over and subscribe, so make sure you do that. So now that you guys have been introduced to Nat and I told you what's going on in today's video, let's talk about the new pets that I'm getting. So the new pets that I'm getting were actually bred by Nat and they are emerald tree skinks. So as many of you know, over the past year I have been breeding Malaysian cat geckos. Nat here actually happens to have a Malaysian cat gecko of her own. So she has a male. As you all know by now, I have a couple babies. So a few months ago when Nat was having success with her emerald tree skink babies, I reached out to her and I told her that I would be interested in the babies and I knew that she was interested in my cat gecko babies. So we are actually doing a trade. Nat is going to be taking one of my cat geckos to keep as her pet and I am going to be keeping two of her emerald tree skinks to keep as my pets and I'm so super excited to introduce them to you. So the emerald tree skinks are currently in this container here. So this isn't the setup that I'm going to be keeping them in. This is Nat's uh, fanarium and setup here. So right now in this setup here, Nat has four babies. You can see one of them hanging out on the branch right there. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. So despite there being four, like I mentioned earlier, I will be keeping two of these guys. And then the other two are gonna go back home with Nat. So these guys here are the baby emerald tree skinks that I bred and I'm actually so happy to have these guys and that they're going to be going to oh, Emma. It's on the ground right there. Oh, oh he's so cute. <laughs> so um, the adults of these guys are super friendly and interactive, um, even as wild caught. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how they'll turn out in the future with Emma. So these guys are a super friendly and amazing species of lizard to keep. They're super interactive, they're really social, and they're honestly becoming an amazing pet lizard for people to have. They love to eat everything. Like they <laughs> love any kind of insect. You can give them rapashi. Um, you, they have so much fun with their enclosure, making them. You can put hammocks yeah. in there and things of all kind and they'll use it all to their advantage. So. I'm excited because I only, out of all of the animals I have, I only have one skink. I have my blue tongue skink and she's the only skink I own. I have like over 20 lizards and they're almost all geckos or chameleons and then a few other random ones here and there. So I'm really excited to have more skinks. I want more they, skinks too. <laughs> they seem very fun. So there you go. Those are going to be my new pet emerald tree skinks. I'm so excited to have them and I hope that you guys are excited to see them as well. I will definitely be posting many videos of them in the future. So if you're hoping to see more of them, then uh, don't worry. There will be plenty of them to come. And also if you want to see more emerald tree skinks and more 
emerald tree skin content, then check out Nat's channel because as you guys know, she also has emerald tree skinks and is even breeding them. So definitely check out her channel for some more emerald tree skink content. So now that we have had a chance to meet my new tree skinks, we're gonna go ahead and feed some of the animals down here. So since Nat is here and visiting and likes animals, I thought that I might as well make her go and feed all my animals for me. <laughs> might as well get away with some chores while she's here. So <laughs> Take advantage <laughs> of me while you can. Exactly. So we have some super worms here, so we are going to start out by feeding them to Lex over here because Lex is always, always, always ready to eat, especially insects. Oh, oh she seems very good. <laughs> she is always ready. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes. I'll give you another big one. How about this one? Does this look yummy? Oh, there you go. And this one. There you go. Yay, good job. I'm sure she'll be looking for plenty more. We're gonna give some super worms to Bella now, who is currently hiding under this cork round, but Bella is also always ready to eat, so she's definitely gonna come right out as soon as she sees a worm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Work for it. There you go. <laughs> she'll, a lot of the times too, just walk right out of her enclosure onto the <laughs> ground if she's hungry. <laughs> Was hi. that good? I'm say hi to the camera. There you go. <laughs> what do you think of those worms? Mm. Ah, nice. Good job, Bella. Nice. Good for her. She can have one more. All right. Here you go. A bonus worm. <laughs> there you go. She takes it so gently, actually. Yeah. All right, so Nat is going to try to feed Felix now, and I say try because Felix can sometimes be picky about who he will eat from. He'll always eat from me, and right now he'll always eat from Josh too, but it took him a while to trust Josh, so let's let's see if he thinks you're more trustworthy. Oh. There. Nice. <laughs> nice. You're more trustworthy than Josh, I guess. Ah, I feel so special. <laughs> Maybe he likes the color red. It took him so long to to accept food from Josh. Uh -huh. And you, over here, you are not getting any more. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, you have already eaten all the food that you need to eat. He looks so upset. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know you want more, but you can't. Felix is going to get worm number two, assuming he wants it. And he does. Their tongue. It's so I cool. know, especially with those so big. All right, we're gonna try feeding Fiona now. She's hiding in the uh, in the plants right here, but she'll probably still be down for some worms. Some bugs in here. Yeah. Both of my chameleons approve of you. Yay! <laughs> I feel so You special. have their approval. Oh, that's the only approval I need anyway. <laughs> One more. Yay. Yay. So Alfredo and Linguini here, who are my white tree frogs, are one of my favorite animals to feed. So I'm gonna give Nat the honor of giving them some super worms. Hey, Nat. They're so funny. Uh, who should I go first? This one? Yeah, and just put it right up to her. It's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is why they're one of my favorites. They're so it's funny. Just deep they're deep the top. Yeah, they're so <laughs> intense with it. Oh my god, and Alfredo's looking now. He's just like, where is mine? Hey. What? Hello. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, so they can each get two. <laughs> it's so funny. Not elegant at all. <laughs> I love how they use their hands, too. You know, Mm. 
You don't want another one? You don't oh, oh, yeah. There we go. I was gonna say, he normally always wants another one. So now we are going to move on to feeding some of my snakes. So Nat here has a lovely mouse dangling off the tongs, ready to give to Tangerine. So Tangerine here is one of my corn snakes that I've had for a couple years now. And if you aren't following me on Instagram, then you probably wouldn't know that Tangerine recently laid a clutch of infertile eggs. She ended up laying a total of 11 eggs and they all looked really, really good despite being infertile. So since she laid so many eggs recently, I'm probably going to give her a double meal today because ever since laying all of those big, beautiful eggs, she's been a little bit deflated so after she's done with this mess here we're gonna come back and give her a second one okay so now we're going to feed Richard who is my rainbow boa he's he's a little hidden right now though so we're gonna have to search for him a little bit there he is yeah so his head's right up at the front there if you want to try and like maybe lure him out <laughs> oh, I tried luring him out, but he did not want to. He just wanted the food. His color, his patterns and colors are just so pretty. Brazilian rainbow boas are like all gorgeous, but I think Richard is, Richard is especially gorgeous. All right, so this is Willow, who is my children's python, and she is always ready for food. So she's gonna go right for this if she doesn't try to eat my camera first. <laughs> there she goes. I see that we have decided to uh, eat the mouse butt first. So uh, have fun with that. Oh, you're changing your mind? <laughs> oh, she's looking for the head now. <laughs> there you go, you're getting closer. So it has now been a couple days since I first got my baby Emerald Tree Skinks here and I just went ahead and cleaned out their enclosure for the first time. So as you can see I'm currently using paper towel substrate. So since I'm using paper towels right now I do have to do like a full clean on this enclosure every few days and you know change out the paper towels. So while I did that I put the skinks in this little container here. But now that their enclosure has been cleaned and is set back up again I'm going to go ahead and and put the skinks back in their enclosure. And since I have to move these skinks in order to clean their enclosure, I'm also taking that opportunity to handle them a little bit. And since I'm going to be handling these guys every few days, I'm hoping that the consistent handling will help get them used to it. So then hopefully in the future, they're not nearly as timid as they are right now because as little tiny babies, they're quite timid, but that's to be expected. All right, so here is the first skink here. And, and now even though the two baby skinks look basically identical, they're actually really easy to tell apart because one of the baby skinks has a bit of a kink at the end of its tail. So as you can see, this one here does not. So this one right here is the one without a kink in his tail. And then I will give you guys a look at the other guy shortly. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one back in his enclosure now and then we will go ahead and grab the second baby skink. And here we have baby emerald tree skink number two. So this is the one here that has the slight kink in his tail, so I'm sure that you can see it on camera there. So this one here wasn't actually born with a kink in its tail. This showed up a few weeks after it was born. Nat, who is my friend who bred them, she noticed it one day and she's not entirely sure what caused it, but either way, his tail still seems to be all right. It just has a little bit of a kink, but it doesn't seem to bother him at all. So while I haven't handled these guys a whole lot, I have noticed that this one right here seems to be slightly more timid than the other one. And when it comes to just seeing the skinks like out and about, about in their enclosure. This one definitely hides a bit more and I see the other one out more often. So this guy here seems to be a little bit more shy but it doesn't really matter. I love them both so much. They're both such incredible lizards and I'm so excited to see how they will continue to do with me and hopefully
hopefully they will grow nice and big and healthy. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this little one back in his enclosure. So here is a closer look at their enclosure for now. So as you guys know, these are just teeny tiny little babies. I mean, look at that little guy back there. So this is obviously just a very temporary grow out enclosure for them. I find when it comes to really small baby reptiles, they tend to do a bit better in like smaller secure spaces and then as they get bigger and gain some confidence they do a lot better in larger spaces so this is what I'm keeping the skinks in right now and so far it has been working really well for them they have a couple hiding spots they have places to climb they're able to bask under the light this enclosure does have a UVB light above it and they have their water dish over here so yeah this is what I have set up for them right now and it has been working really well but I am also really excited to be able to upgrade them into something bigger in the near future. So there we go. You guys have met my new pet emerald tree skinks. You guys have also met my friend Nat and you watched us feed some of my animals. So now that all of that is said and done, I am just going to go ahead and end this video here. Before I end this video though, I do just want to give a reminder again that my friend Nat who is in this video has a YouTube channel and an Instagram page that you can find by searching Red's Faunaverse. Like I mentioned earlier, if you guys enjoy animal content, specifically reptile content, you guys will absolutely love her stuff. So make sure you go and do that and subscribe to her channel and check out all of her videos and just do all of those wonderful things. If you did enjoy this video, also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm getting so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers. It would mean the absolute world to me if you helped me get there. And also be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it really helps me out and it costs you nothing. Also be sure to check out all of my social media. It will all be down in the description below and I would love to have you guys over there. So make sure you do that. And with all of this said and done, I am just going to wrap up this video now. Thank you all so much for watching. I do really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out Nat's social media pages.